start off with is the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. Um, the colours I'm going to use are Musk, um, Twilight, Retrograde and Angelic. Um, I think they're all the colours I use to create this look. Um, and along with a few other things which I'll go in between and say as I go along. So I just kind of wanted this to be sparkly and fun. So let's go ahead. This lash isn't staying on fully because my eye watered. But I'll fix it. Um, so going in with musk. Tapping off. Relaxes. Um, going in with musk. Just kind of patting it in along the outer corner. And just really patting it in. I prefer with eyeshadows to lightly pat in and build it up rather than go in with loads and then hate having so much. So then I just wanted to make this really simple to do so I just grabbed a bit of this L'Oreal True Match Genius um, and I used that to cut my crease. Um, so all I did is I got a little brush but all I'm going to do is cut the crease very lightly. bring it up slightly higher on this side but I do that with the eyeshadow so as you can see here camera focuses it gets really light to dark so that's why I don't bring the cut that far up so that it blends in with the color musk and gives the darker effect as well so it doesn't really matter if this isn't perfectly straight because you're going to be covering it anyway and and then Desert Sand, which is just the lightest colour in the palette, um, I just use that to kind of set it. So then going in with the colour Twilight, I just patted Twilight all over the lid. You can see just the payoff of this colour. And I think when you set the concealer after cutting out your crease, that's what gives it a better, a better feel, better effect. Doing this kind of look, I always start off with doing one eye getting it exactly how I want and then getting the other one to match. And then going in with a little bit of musk just to kind of fill it up higher to my brow bow. And then before I pop the glitter on, I'm gonna go underneath with the color Angelic and mix with a little bit of retrograde and then retrograde on top. It's starting to come together. Um, and you just need to kind of keep shaping it out to exactly how you want it to look. So the glitter I used is just... Ah! Oh, I'm not just going to Shit. Um, so it's just really chunky glitter. You can see here it's just big bits of glitter just chunky all I do for popping on glitter is I use eyelash glue and um, because I've tried lots of um, glitter glues and um, I personally do not like them so I use the duo glue in the clear and I just pop a little tiny bit on my hands and I use a little brush Make sure to try clean your brush as quick as possible after using the glue because it does stick. So then I just packed on the glue just all along my inner corner. Just like that. And as it's setting, I just get a chunk of glue on, uh, glitter on the brush and just pack it on. You just kind of need to give it a second or two to dry and um, kind of don't close your eyes or look up um, or try to crease your eyes too much right now and let it set. So then I went in with the Revolution Pro um, Rose Gold Gold Highlighting Palette and I use this has a lot of fallout when you're using it but I do think the colours are really pretty so that's why I'm not hating on it too much. But I went in with the white in the inner corner of my eye mixed with a little bit of the goldy one beside it. And 
and then I went back into the white and just gave myself a little spotlight. Just really simple, it just adds that little bit of something extra and you only have to go up. I make it a little bit thicker at the bottom, just like that, but I didn't go too um, drastic or crazy with it. Just adds that little bit of something extra to the eye, just to make it that little bit um, appealing to look at. And I'm gonna go underneath as well and just add the littlest bit underneath on both sides. And then I'm going in with the kind of goldy color that's in this palette. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my fingers and do my brow bone. And then another brush just to blend it out. So the mascara I used is the Essence and False Lashes Mascara. And the lashes I used were Bia Bella Willow. These are really pretty, really fluttery, so I'm just gonna pop them on off camera and finish the rest of my face and show you when it's fully completed. So this is the completed look. I've just clipped up some of my hair, threw on some pretty earrings. Um, yeah, so the lips I used was Makeup Revolution, You Are Beautiful. It's this nice, cool, nude kind of color. Make my face. This kind of nudey pink kind of color. And then to match that, I just used the NYX Chrome. I think this is perfect for so many kind of styles. Uh, I just put a little smidge on and blended it out because sometimes it can be a little intense. Um, but yeah, this is the final look. I love these lashes as well because I think they can be fierce enough for a night out, for a kind of festival style like this and also for like every day as well because they kind of have a mix of both. The highlighter I used was this one again, the gold, so I mix these two together, just pop it on. It's gold, rose gold and it is, it's so amazing, I love it. Although it does have a lot of fallout but you can kind of live with that I think. But um. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial um, and yeah like I said at the beginning um, you know I kind of got inspired by watching everyone that went to Longitude and even when I was at Westlife I saw lots of people with lots of glitter on their face and stuff because they were obviously making a whole day and night thing out of it which was really cool and yeah let me know in the comments please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you want me to do next and don't forget to check out all my other social medias and see you soon